Hey, welcome to the newsroom. I am Esther Vesey. The primary election panel of the All Progressive Congress has officially declared Babajide Stonwolu as the winner of the party's governorship primary in Lagos State. The chairman of the primary election panel in Lagos, Clement Ibiri, made the announcement at a press conference in Lagos on Wednesday morning. Now, it represents a sharp U turn by the member of the panel who distanced themselves from the initial primary on Tuesday. Chairman of the APC in Lagos, Tunde Balogun, on Tuesday night declared Stonwolu winner of the exercise with 970. 1,851 votes, while incumbent Akil Miambade secured 72,901 votes. Now, at his media briefing on Wednesday, Ibiri repeated the same figures despite initially opposing the primary. In the Imo State, National Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Adam Soshomale, has rejected the outcome of the parallel primaries. One primary announced Uche Umosu as the in-law of the current governor, Rojas Okorocha, as winner, while another announced Hope Uzodima, a seventh senator, as winner. Now, both victories have now been nullified and declared illegal. The Nigeria Centre for Disease Control, NCDC, has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Public Health England in a bid to strengthen international disease control across borders. Now, by this agreement, the British Public Health Institute would be helping Nigeria and four other countries to improve their international health regulations in disease prevention, detection and control. Military authorities have discovered more vehicles in a pool in Darudu community just south local government area of Plato State, where the car of a missing general, Mohammed al Kali, was recently discovered. And the military also urged the community to help in locating the general dead or alive these days after he was declared missing. They also dismissed rumors that it planned on attacking members of the community over its missing staff. The toll in Indonesia's twin quake tsunami disaster has passed 1,400. The National Disaster Agency spokesman Sutopo Porwo Ungroho said the number of dead is 1,407 across, across four areas around the ravaged seaside city of Palu. Now, authorities set a tentative deadline of to Friday to find anyone still trapped under the rubble, at which point, which is a week after the disaster, the devastating double disaster, the chances of finding any survivor will dwindle to most likely almost zero. And South Africa's finance minister, Nana Nene, says he lost his job in formal uh, President Jacob Zuma's cabinet in 2015 because he did not back deals that would have benefited the Gupta family. Nene made the, the comments to an inquiry that is looking into allegations that the Guptas, a family of wealthy business people, exercised undue political influence over the ex-president. Zuma and the Gupta family deny the allegations. Officials in Ethiopia say more than 70,000 people have fled ethnically charged violence in western Ethiopia, part of an eruption of unrest that has piled pressure on reformist pr Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed. Now, residents in Beshin Shangul Gumuz region say violence erupted on Friday after four local officials were killed during a visit to neighboring Oromia region. Meanwhile, Tony Cruz's mistake proved costly as Real Madrid's goal-scoring problems continued on Tuesday with a surprise 1-0 defeat to CSKA Moscow in the Champions League. CSKA's veteran goalkeeper Igor Akinfev was sent off deep into at a time after picking up two yellow cards for descent, but nothing could spoil the host's victory. Manchester United's boss Jose Marino has hit back at Paul Scholes after the legendary midfielder claimed he was embarrassed in the club. Now, United turned out another desperately dire performance with a goalless draw in their Champions League clash with Valencia on Tuesday evening, with many fans booing at full time. Well, that's the latest update from the newsroom. Thank you very much for watching. I am Esther Vesey.